to get both video and audio from OBS Studio to Zoom, begin by starting the virtual camera. Just click it down here. For the next step, we're going to jump over to Zoom. In Zoom, make sure that the OBS virtual camera has been selected. And once you activate your camera, everything you created in OBS Studio is going to come through nicely here inside of Zoom. To also get audio, you will need a separate piece of software called the Virtual Audio Cable. Download it with the link in the video description below. Once you've downloaded it, make sure to install the Virtual Audio Cable. And in the next step, we're going to select that as our audio device in Zoom. Here in Zoom, go to your audio options in the bottom left hand corner and select the virtual audio cable as your microphone. Now we're going to feed our audio from OBS Studio into that virtual audio cable. And we're going to start with the traditional method, which has its problems that we're going to solve in just a moment. The traditional method is to use the virtual audio cable as a monitoring device. Specifically, you go into settings, you click over to audio, and then you select the virtual audio cable here as your monitoring device and click OK. After that, you go into your advanced audio properties. And then you select the devices that you want to monitor and feed to the virtual audio cable. For example, if I want to output my microphone into the virtual audio cable, I would just select it there. But this approach has one common problem, and that is if your audio and video are not perfectly in sync. You can see here in my settings that I have added a 100 millisecond delay to my microphones. And the reason for this is that my video feed is about 100 milliseconds delay. So I've used the audio delay to compensate for that. However, the audio delay that you see here only applies to streaming and to recording. It does not apply to the monitoring function that we're actually using right now to feed the audio into the virtual audio cable. Before moving over to the next step, make sure that you have reversed your settings for the traditional method. This means that you go back into your advanced audio properties and then switch off monitoring for any microphone that you may have set up there. And to be extra sure, go back into your settings as well. Go over to audio and for your monitoring device, go back to the default so that the virtual audio cable is not selected. If you were to use the traditional method and the next method, which is going to be better, at the same time, then you would risk getting duplicate audio, one audio with delay and the other one without delay. And that sounds terrible. To add a custom delay, we're going to need a different solution. And it's going to be a separate plugin called the Audio Monitor plugin. Once you've installed the plugin and restarted OBS Studio, it's time for us to configure it in the filter settings. I'm going to click on the filters for my microphone right there and then on the plus button and add the audio monitor plugin. The first thing I want to choose is the device that I want to output this to, and that's going to be our virtual audio cable. I also want to lock the volume. The next option that I like here is under mute, and I prefer the bottom option here where the output for the audio monitor is linked to the source muting. And then the final option here is the delay. So I can actually go in here and add my 100 millisecond delay. Once I'm happy with these choices, I can click on close right there. Now let's jump back to Zoom. Because we've already configured our virtual audio cable as our microphone, the audio is coming through nicely. You can see it on the indicator here. I can also go into the audio settings right here, and you can see that the audio is coming through the virtual audio cable. The other thing you can see here in my Zoom setup is that my slides are coming through very nicely and I can even change layouts like this. I can quickly remove them or bring them back completely without the camera and then go back to this 50-50 view as well. If you want to copy my slide layout, just go to marcuspresents.com OBS. To learn more about the virtual audio cable, check out the video on the screen right now. In that video, I go into a little bit more detail about the traditional method of using the virtual audio cable via the monitoring feature. 
Thank you for watching. My name is Marcus Seppala. I will see you in the next one.